Hi guys, Amy here with your spooky Halloween swag. Personally, my favorite time of the year for nail art. So let's look at the ingredients in our nail art this month. And what we have is our So Jelly Black, which is a product from the past that we've brought back by popular demand. And it is a translucent black gel polish. It is not a top. It leaves a sticky layer, so it's great to adhere chrome and all that good stuff. And you guys will see we've got a bunch of new colors of this So Jelly coming out. More on that later. So now we've got our Magic Matte, which is our soakable, no wipe matte top coat that leaves a really nice soft velvet feel to the nails and stays matte for a good full couple weeks. And our Witching Hour Star Glitter Mix, because you know me and I love my stars. This mix is amazing over black. It just glows with purple. I love it. So this is our new Hallow's Eve Chrome Flakes, which Looks great over any dark or light color. It is so versatile. You'll be amazed at how many colors you're going to see come out of this chrome. Okay, last, let's talk about these stones. Now, the ones on the right here, these are the glow stones. And once I pulled out a swag to do this video, I realized that I was sent two different kinds of stones. And they were two different batches, so I didn't really realize it. And whoever was packaging them didn't realize it because they weren't right next to each other. So we've got the glow stones here, and then we've got this carnival color of stones that came in. So instead of making all of you wait for your swag, I decided we were just going to get these stones out. Now, in later in the video, I'm going to explain to you what to do if you got the carnival shiny stones rather than your glow stones. Now, we're going to do this nail first, and we're just going to get started with a tip and our black so jelly. So you'll notice when you paint it on, it is super translucent. Might look like it's going to be a little bit streaky. Just get enough product on there, kind of work it out around the nail, and give it just a second or two before you put it in the light, and it will even itself out. Once you're happy, go ahead and cure that. Cure time on these is 30 to 60 seconds, depending on your lamp. So here we are. It's got a sticky layer, and I'm just taking my finger and placing some of the chrome flakes right into the sticky layer. I don't want to use a tool because sometimes with a tool, we start to burnish, and these flakes will start to kind of blend together, which is really pretty too, but I want to keep these really chunky, and I want to see all the colors. So that's why I'm just kind of placing them in with my finger. You can do this with the tool. Just make sure you don't rub too hard because you don't want to break the um, flakes up. So just press them into that sticky layer real good, and you can see all the colors that you're going to get out of that. Let me take that out of there much better. So it still chromes up really good, and now I'm going to go right in and put my Magic Matte Top Coat on. And your Magic matte top coat is a 30 second cure. So once you get that on there, go ahead and pop that in the light for 30 seconds. So while that one's curing, we're going to get the base started for another one of the designs. I love this one with the swirls painted on top. So again, going in with our So Jelly Black and painting that on there enough product on there so that it can self level a little bit get rid of any streaks again once you're happy go into the light so this is our cured design and I just love the color you get when you put the matte top coat over these flakes it's amazing so now we are waiting for our other tip to come out of the lamp here we go and we're gonna do the same thing we're going to tap on some flakes with our finger or a tool, whatever you prefer. Just get them right into that tacky layer. The more you can get in there, the more color you're going to get. Okay, so now I'm going to take another coat of the Black So Jelly, 
and I'm kind of going lighter on one side, a little heavier on the other, so I get a good fade of the glitter, I'm sorry, the chrome underneath. And then go ahead and pop that in the lamp for cure. And now we are going to put the Magic Matte Top Coat on and cure that again for 30 seconds. Okay, so now we've got two bases done. You can see one looks a lot darker than the other because we put the So Jelly on top of one and just matte top coat on the other. So I love the dimension both of them give. And now for the darker one, we're gonna take our So Jelly and we're gonna put a little dollop on a palette and we are gonna paint some fun little swirls into our darker tip. Just pick up a nice dollop of it. It's got a great consistency, so it will not run on top of the matte top coat. Gives you plenty of time to create your design. All right, so we're gonna do this design with our stars and we're gonna start with a tip and we're gonna go right into the So Jelly Black again. And cure for 30. Now we're gonna put our flakes in after we cure. Same procedure. Now we are going to put another coat of So Jelly. And I'm just kind of trying to do a light coat because I don't want to cover too much of the flakes. And we're curing. Next, we're going to put some of our stars right into the tacky layer of the So Jelly, just randomly placed. So once you've got enough on there, just give them a little press so that they are laying nice and flat. All right, let's go back to one of our previous designs, and this is the one that we painted our swirls on. We just wiped the tacky layer off. That's all we needed to do on that one. Still comes up to a nice shine on your design where you painted, and the matte background stays matte, so it gives it really good dimension. So for this one, we are going to go ahead and put your matte top coat on and cure for 30 seconds. So going back, this was the nail that we put chrome on top of the So Jelly. Then we put another thin coat of So Jelly on top, more heavier on one side, lighter on the other, and threw some stars on, on top of that. Then put our matte top coat on. So this one's got a lot of dimension, which I really, really like. We're going to go back to the palette, drop a little bit more of the black jelly on there, pick up some of our stones, and we are going to create that design that looks like little starbursts. Okay, we're gonna start with just a dollop of the So Jelly. Get a nice dollop on the end of your brush. You could even use a dotter for this. And actually, we had somebody on our Instagram do a really cool stick it video doing this technique and made these little stardust stars so much easier to paint. If you guys haven't seen it, make sure you go on the IG and check it out. 
because it was a really pretty design. So we're just taking that dot and pulling up and pulling down and then pulling out each side. Super, super easy. And because your stones are more of a resin stone, more of an acrylic or plasticky stone, it's going to adhere really well to the gel polish. You can absolutely put these on with any of your gem glues, super glue, whatever you use is going to be fine. But these will adhere really well because they are a little bit more acrylic based, plastic resin based stones, not glass. So once you've got the design done, your starbursts are done, we're just going to go in and we're going to pick up a stone and place it right in the center. And then we're going to cure those stones right in the so jelly. So let's go back to that first base that we did and get the stones put on in, that, in the center of the nail in a nice design. Again, we're going to start with the sew jelly. Just go ahead and pick up a nice dollop, spread it out right in the center of the nail, and start placing your stones. Make sure you have enough that it kind of comes up around the edges of the stones to protect it and really cure it into that gel. I do love the look of the black so jelly around the stones gives it a little bit more of a Halloween kind of gothic vibe because these stones do look really pastel and kind of bring out bright pastel colors in the chrome behind it. So I feel like the so jelly just gives it more of a Halloween vibe. Go ahead and add a little bit more of the gel if you feel like you're a little dry around the edges. Just a little dollop where your stones are going to go next. And once you get the bulk of stones right in the center there, give it a quick cure to just kind of freeze those stones into place so they're not sliding around on you. And then go in with a little bit more of the gel and add some more accents. Again, getting another tip ready and just putting a coat of the black jelly on there. Before we even cure this, we're going to put some stars in the bottom layer. Just randomly place these. And once that's good, just go ahead and cure those stars in. So this one's all cured. Looks like a piece of jewelry on the nail. I absolutely love it. Go ahead and wipe the sticky layer off of any of that gel that's showing around the stones. And same with our starbursts. Wipe off all that sticky. Now this one came out of the light and we're just throwing some candy chrome right into the top of that. So now we're putting on a nice thick coat of the sew jelly on top. And we're going to go ahead and cure this. So when this comes out of the light, just wipe the tacky off. I'm running a buffer over it just to smooth out where the stars were. And then this one, I just am putting a shiny top coat on just so you can see the difference and the dimension between all of the designs that we did. This one's a little darker, but you can see the chrome and the stars peeking through. So I told you guys I would come back to these, the stone issue. 
So if you were one that got these, which is the really colorful, iridescent, super pretty, but not glowing stones, simply just please take a picture of them, email it to me at profilesgirl at mac.com, and I am going to send you out a package of your glow stones. So again, you're just going to email me a picture of the bright stones that you got instead of your glow stones and I'm going to send you out a package of the glow stones. Super sorry about that but I again didn't want to wait and I didn't want you guys to have a late Halloween swag. We just can't have that. So on a happier note here is your four designs that we created and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. As always please tag me in your creations at profiles underscore nails on IG and of course on Facebook profiles backstage. Happy Halloween guys!